Hi, Ed Chasen with Slick Time Savers and Authority Snooper. Today I want to show you a ninja trick to quickly find the easiest keywords to exploit for any keyword groups. Since I've added the new Competitive Intelligence tab, it has been super easy to identify the low-hanging fruit for SEO. Using Antique Clocks as our example, we have 1,370 keywords in this group. So, let's click the Competitive Intelligence tab. First click the Domain Authority column to sort from low to high. Next, let's click the Search Rank column to only show the first place URL listings. Now, we've quickly identified 495 first place listings for the keyword group Antique Clocks. What this does for us, it identifies what are the weakest keywords out there for any particular keyword group. Why is this important? It's because of Google's new updates to its algorithm to determine who should rank. Google now looks at the overall domain to determine who should rank on page one. Lucky for us, we have Moz, a third-party organization making an attempt to calculate how likely a domain will rank in Google search results. Let's go to the Moz website and take a look at how they determine a domain's authority. Here we go. Domain authority is a score on a 100-point scale developed by Moz that predicts how well a website will rank on search engines. Use domain authority when comparing one site to another or tracking the strength of your website over time. It's calculated by combining all of the link metrics, linking, root domains, number of total links, etc. into a single score. You can read the rest of the information about domain authority versus page authority, etc. Bottom line is that the authority numbers are high-level metrics that attempt to answer the question, how strong are this page's links in terms of helping them rank? in google.com. Let me show you an example of what I mean. I've selected a keyword that hopefully will help you see what I mean. Antique Asian clocks. Let's go to Google search for this. When you click the keyword, what will happen is the browser will open up to that keyword. Now if you don't already have the Moz bar installed, go over to Moz, download it, install it in your browser. First place listing has a domain authority of 20. And let's take a look at the rest of the domains. The next one is a 65. We have YouTube at 100, Cafe Press at 91, Razzle.com at 52, 63 is the next one, 60, 96 by eBay. Again, 96 by eBay. So what's that mean? When I see very low domain authority values that rank number one for a particular keyword, it tells me that this particular keyword has a lot of weak websites for whatever reason that Google ranked them on page one. What that spells out is opportunity for you. These other websites that are ranking on page one could be there for various reasons, but it's not because of their content, their linking, etc. Because when we go to this particular website and take a look what there is on that page, there really isn't that much. Let's take a look. Here's the website that's ranking number one. There's a bunch of links. To me it looks like thin content. There is an ad, etc. It looks like a WordPress type of site with not much content on there. And if you dig in even deeper, its linking is probably weak as well. So when I find keywords like this, I look at them as opportunities. The competition on page one is weak for that particular keyword. Google has to make a best fit in order to rank pages. And if the content or the links, doesn't matter, whatever they determine for page one is weak for this particular keyword group. This spells opportunity for you. A lot easier to get on that page one. An antique Asian clocks has a fair amount of ads, which tells me that commercial intent, the pay-per-click people think it's an important keyword. Now let's take a look at another example. I've loaded up a new keyword group, Baby Boomer. This group of keywords has 2,396 keywords. Let's take a look what the competitive intelligence tab gives us. 
sort domain authority low to high next sort the search rank so you only see the first place listings low to high and let's scroll down till we see the first 40 in this particular keyword group we have 463 keywords that are less than 40 as you scroll up through the URLs you will notice multiple keywords ranked by the same URL here's one let's take a look what baby boomer dash magazine dot com brings us click it your browser shows up this is what this particular website looks like for ranking multiple first place keywords with only a domain authority of 36.22 this is my absolute favorite way of identifying weak keywords keywords that low domain authority websites are ranking for number one if they can rank for number one so can you once you have identified which URLs you need to perform your SEO many times all it takes is having the keyword in the title I have plenty of users that are reporting back that's all they're doing they're just making sure all their keywords are in the right place and almost instantly they're ranking the domain authority is already established they have a low amount of links low trust value it goes on all you've got to do is identify which keywords and which URLs that you need to to do your SEO to beat them out have fun I love this technique success always leaves clues till next time if this helped you I know this will help others please leave a comment below give me a thumbs up spread the word and keep watching this is Ed Chasen with Slick Time Savers